Hello, James again here. Um, today I want to talk about um, where we really start in maths is with decimal place value. It's a fundamental thing and a lot of things are built on this um, in the 11 plus maths paper. So it's really important that kids understand how we could multiply or divide by 10, 100 or 1000. So typically children are taught that you actually shift the whole number and the dot stays in the same place. But I found in my own experience and being a parent that kids find that very difficult to conceptualise. So um, as with anything, I always come up with something silly um, so the kids can really remember it. Um, so I say to children, when we multiply, uh, we need to think about the decimal point jumping the same way that we read and write. And kids can lock onto that idea very easily. So if we've got 25.6 and we want to multiply that by 10, what we say is the number of zeros is the number of jumps. Or if you want to get even more infantile, you could say feed the flea zero and it does one jump. So we've got one zero there. We've multiplied, so if we go the way we read and write, so you can see here, the dots jumped over, and that then becomes two, five, six. Um, a lot of kids will put point zero. You know, technically you don't need that, do you? If, it, if it's a whole number, if it's an integer. So uh, the next thing is dividing. So we'll say to children, well, when you divide, it's the opposite way to the way you read and write. So we've got divide by 10. So in this case, you can see the dot jumping over one place. But if it was divide by 100, it would in fact do two jumps, it would end here. But what this is in fact, you wouldn't put 0 0.2632, you put a zero at the beginning. Okay, so um, now we can consider this. So um, if we've got 28.2, times 3.5. What I say to children first is underline, look at how many decimal places you've got and underline them, okay? And then I say copy this out into a columns calculation with, without any dots, just ignore the dots completely. What you'll often find is kids start putting decimal places in the multiplier calculation, just, just take them out completely. And kids can deal with this, this is easy. So 5 times 2, 10, 5 times 8, 40, 41, 10, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, okay, and we move into the multiplying the tens here, so we drop down one, zero out to this column, 6, 3 times 8, 24, 3 times 2, 6, 7, 8, you notice I'm getting rid of my carry, so I don't confuse myself when I add them up. Zero, seven, eight, nine. Then what you do is you look at the number of decimal places here. You've got two. So you start from the right hand side, the whole number here. One, two. Again, if you want something silly, write it out, copy it out without, bounce it back in at the end from the right. Copy it out, write it out without, bounce it back in at the end from the right. I hope you've enjoyed that. We'll, we'll maybe look at some more stuff to do with decimals. I think it, it seems to be a big feature on the, on the papers. And this is generally an area we really try and work to get solid before kids even progress through year four when they start this. So I hope you enjoyed this. Looking forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye.